In mining there are various drilling methods, each suited for specific applications, blast hole drilling, auger drilling, diamond core drilling, reverse circulation drilling, air core drilling, and more. Alongside these methods, we have a wide range of specialized drilling equipment designed to meet different needs, such as blast hole drills, dimensional stone drills, and development drills. In today's video, we'll focus on four types of surface drills, rotary blast hole drills, surface DTH, down the hole drills, surface top hammer drills, and auger drills. We'll also dive underground to explore a couple of key drill types used in mining operations, jumbo drills, long hole drills, raised boring rigs, and roof bolters. Rotary blast hole drills are specialized machines used in open pit and surface mining to create large diameter holes for placing explosives. These holes are critical for fragmenting rock, making it easier to extract minerals. Unlike other drilling methods, rotary blast hole drills rely on a rotating drill bit, combined with heavy downward feed pressure, to grind and crush through soft and medium hard rocks. These machines are designed to drill large diameter holes, often larger than 200 mm to place explosives for blasting. You'll commonly see them in open pit mines for minerals like gold, limestone, coal, iron ore, and copper. Here's how it works. The drill mast is oriented to vertical or required inclination and then locked in position. Next, the rotary head begins spinning the bit. The downward force provided by hydraulic cylinders or hydraulic motor with chains, combined with the rotary action, grinds away the rock. As the bit advances, the flushing air continuously removes rock fragments from the hole through the annular space between the drill rod and the hole wall. Once the desired depth is reached, the drill retracts, leaving a perfectly formed blast hole ready for explosive charges. There are automated hydraulic mechanisms to add or change drill pipe to the string, and also to change the worn-out bit. The dust curtains around the drill table on the mast, combined with powerful dust collectors, work together to effectively control and suppress dust, ensuring a cleaner and safer operation. Tricone bits are most commonly used in rotary blast hole drills, which have three bearing-mounted cones with tungsten carbide inserts, the flushing air is also used to keep the bearings cool and clean. The flushing air velocity is a crucial parameter for these rigs and it determines the requirement of the compressor. These drills are equipped with powerful engines that generate thousands of horsepower, which is selected mainly based on the compressor requirement as it normally consumes 80, 90 percentage of engine power. The hydraulics pumps also consume a significant amount of horsepower, which drives the complex pipe handling mechanisms in the mass. Meet the down-the-hole or DTH drill. These drills use a percussive technique like a jackhammer on steroids. A piston powered by compressed air slams into the drill bit. This creates a powerful drilling action. DTH drills are efficient and precise. They drill deep holes with pinpoint accuracy on hard rocks and with minimal surface vibration. Let's talk about the top hammer drill, a different breed of drill. Unlike DTH drills, top hammer drills deliver impact energy from above. A heavy hammer strikes a drill rod, transmitting force to the drill bit. Top hammer drills excel in shallow drilling up to 50 feet deep. Effective in medium to hard rock formations, they break tough layers quickly. Their versatility is a major advantage. They can be mounted on various platforms from small rigs to large units. Plus they're simple to operate and maintain, a bonus in mining. Not all drilling is about pulverizing solid rock. Sometimes you need a tool for softer formations like soil, clay, or loose rock. That's where the auger drill comes in, with its corkscrew design. Imagine a giant drill bit shaped like a screw rotating into the ground. It's like a giant apple peeler digging holes in the earth. Auger drills are simple and efficient in the right conditions. They're great for shallow holes like foundation pilings or planting trees. Crucial for smaller scale exploration and geotechnical drilling, versatile and reliable as long as the ground isn't too hard. All right, folks, if you thought the drills we saw on the surface were impressive, wait till you meet the king of the underground, the jumbo drill. This ain't your grandpappy's hand drill. This is a multi-armed, hydraulic-powered beast that's built to carve tunnels out of solid rock. Imagine a giant spider with multiple drilling arms outstretched, each one capable of drilling precise holes in perfect alignment. That's the jumbo drill in a nutshell. These machines are essential for creating the tunnels and shafts that make up the backbone of any underground mine. Jumbo drills are like the conductors of an underground orchestra, orchestrating the precise drilling patterns needed for blasting and excavation. 
They're equipped with advanced hydraulic systems that allow for precise positioning and control, ensuring that each hole is drilled to the exact depth and angle required. 8. For drilling deep holes in underground mines, you need a specialized tool. The Long Hole Drill Rig drills blast holes extending hundreds of feet into the rock. These rigs are the sharpshooters of underground drilling, hitting targets with precision. Used in stoping, they extract ore from vertical ore bodies. Long hole drilling is a dance of precision and power. The rig must be stable, often anchored to the rock face. The drill string, hundreds of feet long, must be carefully guided. Skilled operators ensure blast holes are drilled accurately and safely. The success of mining operations depends on their precision. Imagine creating a vertical shaft, connecting different levels of an underground mine. Enter the raised boring machine, drilling upwards from the bottom. These machines create ventilation shafts and other critical infrastructure. Often used with tunnel boring machines, they form interconnected tunnels and shafts. The drill bit starts at the bottom and works upwards. Raised boring is safer, reducing the risk of accidents. It's quieter and produces less vibration than traditional methods. We've talked about the machines that drill the holes, but what about the ones that make those tunnels safe? In underground mining, safety is paramount. Enter the cable bolter. This machine reinforces rock ceilings, preventing collapses. Imagine a giant staple gun driving steel cables deep into the rock. It's essential for stabilizing weak rock formations. Cable bolting is a critical safety measure, protecting miners. It's a testament to the industry's commitment to safety, ensuring miners can work in a secure environment. Well folks, there you have it. A glimpse into the incredible world of mining drilling equipment. From the massive rotary drills tearing up the Earth's surface to the specialized machines working tirelessly underground, it's a symphony of power, precision, and engineering ingenuity. These machines and the people who operate them are the unsung heroes of our modern world, extracting the raw materials that fuel our industries, power our homes, and build our cities. So next time you hop in your car, fire up your computer, or marvel at a skyscraper, take a moment to appreciate the journey from mine to masterpiece, made possible by these incredible drilling machines. If you enjoyed this dirty job, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more explorations into the world of hard work and heavy machinery, and let me know in the comments which piece of equipment impressed you the most. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep on digging.